Hello, welcome to ERCM Pro Training. This session discusses tuning OEM models in ERCM Pro. For all OEMs shown, simply load in the OEM model and in their various menu items, select the menu item that allows you to export an ACI kernel file. With OEM equipment such as Ajax, Aero Engine, Cooper Bessemer, Columbia Pipeline Group, Dresser Rand High Speeds, Gemini, Knox Western, Leroy, NGSG, SIPS, and Superior. All you need to do is export the file and import that file directly into ERCM Pro. The modeling in ERCM Pro matches exactly with that OEM, so you do not need to tune anything. However, if you have an aerial unit, more effort is required. For many aerial models, simply export from Arial software, the ACI kernel file, and then import that into ERCM Pro. Performance on power, flow, and safety generally will be very close. However, some models may differ by a higher percentage than desired. For those models, you will need to export some aerial data and then use that to help tune the ERCM model so it predicts closer to the aerial predictions. The first step is simply create the model in the aerial performance software, either from scratch or from a run file provided to you, such as from a packager. Currently, it is best to export the data from the aerial performance software while the aerial performance software is set for English units. Additionally, there are some adjustment routines in the aerial performance software that are not replicated in ERCM Pro. Therefore, to tune up the base model, it's, it's best to disable the estimate pressure loss item and to turn off the add acoustic pressure loss item. It is very important in the aerial performance software to set up the operating ranges and the load steps that will need to be used within ERCM Pro. To do this, go to the multi-run feature in the aerial software at the top set up the operating ranges, make sure they are checked, and define the load steps below there. Next, return to the main screen, save your file, and then export out to an ACI kernel file. Return to multi-run, make sure that open CSV is the selected option, and then click on run. This will start the calculation process for the number of points. While the aerial performance software is calculating the points, switch back to ERCM Pro and then import the previously exported ACI kernel file into ERCM Pro. When the aerial performance software is complete, it should open up Excel and load in that file. Press Ctrl A to select all the data and then press Ctrl C to copy that data to the Windows clipboard. Return to ERCM Pro, go to the Tuning tab, click on the top table, and then right-click and select Paste Aerial CSV Data File. After the data is pasted into the table, click on the Tune, Flow, and Power button in the lower left corner. ERCM Pro will then calculate the differences between the ERCM Pro performance predictions and the aerial software predictions, generating coefficients for tuning. In general, after tuning to the aerial data, ERCM predictions now should be within plus or minus 1% of the aerial performance for 98 to 99% of the data. At times, this may not be as close as desired. Two things you can do to improve upon that is A, check the a modeling of deactivated ends, or B, try a different tuning method instead of the speed and ratio linear method. To tune ERCM Pro more toward aerial predictions for horsepower on deactivated ends, in the aerial performance software, generate performance on the compressor cylinder with some deactivated ends. Then go to the appropriate report and look at how much horsepower is being predicted on that deactivated end. In ERCM Pro, you're going to adjust 
the deactivated resistance factor for that cylinder head in um, to a number that comes closer to predicting that horsepower. In this particular case, the aerial performance software was predicting 11.29 horsepower on this deactivated in, while the ERCM Pro software was predicting 21.4 horsepower. Therefore, to change the resistance factor in ERCM Pro to better predict closer to the aerial number, adjust it accordingly. The easiest way to do this is take the original resistance factor, the 60.951 brought forward from the export, multiply it by the aerial horsepower, and then divide it by the original ERCM Pro predicted horsepower. In this particular case, this gives a value of 32 for the new resistance factor. However, for deactivated ends, uh, do not use anything less than about 35. So in this case, given the 32 and the 35, just input the 35, and the new predicted horsepower in ERCM Pro will be around about 12 horsepower. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any additional questions, please contact ACI Services or please visit our website, aciservices.com, for more information about ACI products and ERCM products and solutions. Thank you.